In the beginning, there was only one realm, governed by a single entity known as the Creator. The Creator was all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-loving. It created beings of various kinds, each with their unique abilities and purposes. Among these beings were the Luminaries and the Umbre. The Luminaries were beings of light, created to spread hope, joy, and positivity throughout the realm. They were tasked with maintaining the balance of energy, ensuring that the realm remained healthy and vibrant. They were given the gift of flight, allowing them to traverse the realm freely and share their light with all corners. The Umbre, on the other hand, were beings of darkness, created to provide contrast and challenge to the luminaries. They were tasked with testing the resolve of the luminaries, pushing them to grow stronger and brighter. They were given the gift of manipulation, allowing them to shape the shadows to their will and create illusions that could deceive even the most discerning eye. For eons, the luminaries and umbrae coexisted in relative harmony, each respecting the other's role in the realm. However, as time passed, cracks began to appear in their relationship. The luminaries grew wary of the umbrae's increasing power and influence, worrying that they might become too dominant. The Umbre, on the other hand, felt constrained by the Luminary's constant scrutiny, feeling that they were being held back from reaching their full potential. As the divide between the Luminaries and Umbre grew wider, their daily existence became increasingly complicated. The Luminaries lived in a realm of light, surrounded by beauty and splendor. They spent their days flying through the skies, spreading hope and joy wherever they went. They were revered by the inhabitants of the realm, who looked up to them as guardians and protectors. The Umbri, on the other hand, lived in a realm of darkness, surrounded by shadows and mystery. They spent their days scheming and plotting, looking for ways to challenge the luminaries and prove their worth. They were feared and respected by the inhabitants of the realm, who saw them as powerful and dangerous beings. Despite their differences, the Luminaries and Umbrae still interacted with each other regularly. They would meet in secret, discussing their plans and strategies for the realm. These meetings were often tense, with both sides trying to assert their dominance. However, they were also necessary, as the realm needed both light and darkness to function properly. One day, a young Luminary named Arya met a young Umbra named Kyle. They were both attending a secret meeting between the two sides, and their eyes locked in a moment of mutual recognition. Arya was struck by Kale's intensity and determination, while Kale was drawn to Arya's kindness and compassion. Despite the animosity between their kind, Arya and Kale found themselves inexplicably drawn to each other. They began meeting in secret, sharing their thoughts and feelings with each other. They quickly realized that their love was forbidden but they didn't care. They were willing to risk everything to be together. As their love grew stronger, Aria and Kale knew that they wanted to start a family. They were aware of the risks involved, but they were determined to make their relationship work. After months of careful planning, Aria gave birth to twin children, a boy and a girl. The boy, whom they named Elian, inherited his mother's light-based powers. He was able to fly and create illusions of his own, and he grew up to be a confident and charismatic leader. The girl whom they named Luna inherited her father's shadow-based powers. She was able to manipulate darkness and create objects out of shadows, and she grew up to be a quiet and introspective thinker. As Elian and Luna grew older, they began to develop their unique abilities. Elian's powers were centered around light and hope, while Luna's powers were centered around darkness and despair. Despite their differing abilities, the two siblings were incredibly close, and their bond only grew stronger as they learned to control and harness their powers. Elian's powers allowed him to bring light and hope to those around him. He could create brilliant illusions that inspired and uplifted people and he could also channel his energy into powerful blasts of light that could dispel darkness and evil. His powers were a beacon of hope in a world that often seemed bleak and hopeless, and many people looked up to him as a symbol of positivity and optimism. Luna's powers, on the other hand, 
were centered around darkness and despair. She had the ability to manipulate shadows and create illusions that preyed on people's fears and doubts. Her powers were often seen as dark and ominous, and many people viewed her with suspicion and unisi. However, Luna refused to let her powers define her. She used her abilities to help people confront their fears and insecurities, and she worked tirelessly to prove that even the darkest of powers could be used for good. Despite their differing abilities, Elian and Luna worked well together. They often went on missions together, using their powers in tandem to defeat evil and protect the innocent. Their bond was unbreakable, and they trusted each other implicitly. However, as they grew older, they began to realize that their powers were not the only things that set them apart. They had always known that they were adopted, but they had never really given it much thought. Now, as they entered adulthood, they began to wonder about their true identities and the origins of their powers. They decided to embark on a quest to discover the truth about their past and their abilities. They traveled to distant lands, seeking out wise sages and ancient texts that might hold the answers they sought. Along the way, they encountered dangerous foes and unexpected allies, and they discovered secrets about their past that threatened to tear them apart. In the end, they learned that their powers were not just random genetic mutations, but rather a result of their true ancestry. They were the descendants of powerful beings who had been gifted with extraordinary abilities, and their powers were a manifestation of their inherited legacy. With this newfound knowledge, Elian and Luna felt a deeper connection to each other and to their destiny. They continued to use their powers to protect the world from evil, but now they did so with a greater sense of purpose and belonging. They knew that they were not just heroes, but guardians of a sacred legacy that had been passed down through generations. And they vowed to continue fighting for justice and peace, no matter what dangers lay ahead.